Once upon a time, you see, in a strange land not far away, I met perchance a little bee upon a most unusual day. And when I asked her who she was, she told me, my no other bee could ever be like my My, why you question me? Why is no, no answer for a bee? My, my, she's always in a pretty pickle, my, ah, helping someone else's little, my, ah, my, everyone loves my, when you don't know what to do. Mm -hmm. I know. I'll vote on whether I should take it along or not. <sighs> All right, my dear old feet, I want you to listen carefully. We're going to vote. Those of you who want to eat this insect must raise yourselves. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. All right, that's good, that's good, that's good. Now, those of you who are against eating this insect, raise yourselves. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and two that are undecided. Oh, no, those are the two rheumatic -y ones. Oh, dear, what am I to do now? I really don't know. Seven were in favour and seven were against. Oh, I still can't decide whether to eat the insect or whether just to leave it here. It really is a problem. I wish there was someone to help me. Maybe... I should take a close look. Maybe it'll be easier to decide if I go and sniff around it. Hello, Mr. Centipede. Pardon? I'm Maya. We haven't met before, but I once knew another centipede. We were friends. Do oh, you perhaps... Yes, we have a large family. I'm... Uh, should I tell her my name or shouldn't I? Oh! <sighs> you seem to be having difficulties, are you? Hmm. Yes, well, you could say that. Well, yes, actually, I do have a problem. Do you want to help me? Huh? Well, you must have had a reason for speaking to me. For all I know, it may have been because you want to help me, or am I wrong? I heard you grumbling to yourself and just wanted to know what you were doing. Hmm. I don't know whether to believe her. Never mind. First, I want to introduce myself. I'm a centipede of noble birth, little bee. My name's Hieronymus. I'm very curious about something. What exactly were you doing when I came along just now, Hieronymus? Not Hieronymus, Hieronymus. I beg your pardon, you Hier Hieronymus. I'll try and tell you in a few words, my dear little friend. It's about that, well, you can see it lying there. I was wondering whether or not I should eat that insect. You see, I'm not quite sure whether or not it's a real insect. Is that clear? What I mean is, it could very well be a trap. Mm. It looks like a curled-up caterpillar to me. No, that doesn't really matter. The question is whether it is what I think it is and whether I should eat it. Whew. Whew. <laughs> Easy, it's quite harmless. It's hiding away now. But I still don't know whether it just happened to be lying here or whether it lay here because I was supposed to eat it. I don't understand you. When I find a flower, I don't ask myself whether I should suck honey from it or whether I shouldn't. Maybe only Hieronymus is as like you. Left and right and 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 who knows the caterpillar might have been very good. On the other hand, it might not have been. The same thing happens every time I wonder and I wonder, should I do it or shouldn't I? And before I can make up my mind about what I wanted or wanted to do, what had been there has gone. I always say you need time to decide what to do. A one, a two, a one, a two, a left, a up, a up, a I often wonder whether it's a good thing to talk to oneself aloud or whether it's better to keep quiet. Hmm? Oh, my feet are just like me. They never know either where to run to. Should they run here or should they run there? I can't be sure of anything today. I've suddenly realised how hungry I am. I must go and look for something to eat. Oh. One and two and one and two and one and two and not so fast on the left there. One and two and one and two and one and two. Oh. He's really exhausted me with his one and two and one and two. I'm going to take a nap.
And when you must go on, you must go on. You do it, yet, Hieronymus. Hmm? Never give up, Hieronymus. You must never give up. No matter how hard it is, you must go on. You... Good morning to you, Hieronymus. What are you doing? Hmm? I'm having a tug of war with myself, as you can see. Pull harder, harder. Good grief. Don't give up, don't give up. Don't give up, feet. Oh, well done, well done, Hieronymus. Go on, go on, go on. I must do it, I must do it. That game looks like lots of fun. No, oh, it's not a game, my dear child. I do these exercises every morning. They for my rheumatism, you see. What's rheumatism? It's a pain, my dear Maya. It's a terrible pain. You can get it anywhere. I've got it in my feet. Oh, would you mind tapping my feet? Just give each of them a tap. I'll get a stick. So you'd like me to give you a hiding? Like this? Isn't it going to hurt you, Hieronymus? That doesn't matter, child. You can tap quite a bit harder than that. That's good. What have we here? You found one. That's one of my bad feet, Maya. Oh, I say that's it. <laughs> oh, oh, here's another one. Yes. This one makes a pop, pop, pop noise. Yes, that's the one that's so sore. Do you know, it simply won't get better. I've seen the forest doctor about it quite a few times already. You must try everything, Hieronymus. Have you ever tried soaking your feet in hot or cold water? Ah, that may not be such a bad idea, Maya. But wait a moment, maybe my poor old feet will be even worse off in the end. Then you could try wearing warm socks. Ah, maybe that would work very well, but maybe not. No, oh, who knows, who knows? What I mean is, if cold's good for them, then heat must be bad, and the other way around. Oh, decisions, decisions! Hmm. If I were you, I'd try both. What, both? Yes. First soak them in cold water, and if that doesn't help, put on warm socks. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. I have a friend named Willie who knows many proverbs. If he were here now, he'd say, suit the action to the word. How does it feel, Hieronymus? Is it better? I don't know. I only know it's cold. <laughs> Good. Now try to warm your feet up again. Yes, all right. <laughs> you should know by now which is better for you, warmth or cold. Hmm? Yes, I do. Enough of this traipsing to and fro. It's either bitter now or it isn't. <laughs> How are you feeling? Are your feet still hurting? Hmm. Oh, come on, Hieronymus. You must know if your feet are still sore. <laughs> if all you can do is stand there saying, um, um, you naturally won't know. You must go for a run. Then you'll know. Do you think so? I've just thought of something wonderful you could do with your feet. You could make music.
all on his own. That's true, my friend, but it won't sound as beautiful as you think it will. If I were to make music, it would sound something like this. That's what it would sound like, Maya. It may have been a little loud, but it was quite nice. No, Maya, no. Let's leave music out of it. This problem of mine can't be cured so easily as you can imagine, my child. And besides, there are two sides to every story. We all know that by now. You're very clever, but with all your running to and fro, you haven't managed to get much further. Mm. True, it's much easier for stupid people, but an educated centipede such as I am always considers a matter very carefully. He has as many opinions and views as he has feet. Do you understand? For instance, I'm still wondering about the reason for your coming along this morning. It could have been pure coincidence. On the other hand, there could be more to it. I'm here because you're my friend, that's why. Are you? Am I really, am I really your friend? In that case, I must ask the next question. Why am I your friend? Or an even better question, why are you my friend? What a silly question, because I like you. Oh, Hieronymus, you don't make things easy. We haven't finished asking questions yet. Oh, no. You've asked enough questions for one day. I don't know anything anymore. Uh -huh. Just one more question, Maya. Was I stupid or clever to have told you my deepest thoughts and feelings? Oh, oh. Well, then, that brings us to our next great problem. I must say, it's funny, very, very funny. I've never seen anything like it. How on earth can it be? What's the matter, Willie? Oh, Maya, you've come at just the right moment. I'm thinking about something very puzzling. You're thinking? Oh, fancy that. I simply noticed that this flower doesn't have any honey inside. <coughs> Is there really no honey in it? You're stumped, aren't you? You've never heard of flowers without honey either, have you, Maya? Miss Cassandra never told us about flowers without honey at school. True. I didn't think it was possible that there are flowers that have no honey. But because I found this flower, I began thinking that it may be possible, after all, that there are flowers without honey. Isn't that so? <laughs> I don't know. Oh, someone's laughing. Huh? <laughs> what is it, Flip? Why are you laughing? Oh, that was a funny story. I happened to hear Willie's nature study lesson. I couldn't help laughing at such wisdom. Mm -hmm. <laughs> if you couldn't help laughing, you must know the answer to Willie's question. Yes, you can't laugh at something if you don't know the answer yourself. I agree. Of course I know the answer to your question. What a question. Even if you don't like to believe it, flowers without honey certainly do exist. Uh. But if flowers don't have no honey, bees won't go to them, and that means they can't be pollinated. My goodness, did you see that? That was the wind, and it's the wind that does huh? what bees would normally do. Ooh. You can see it. The wind moves plants to and fro, and as they sway, pollen falls from the anther of the flower. The pollen is carried through the air to a pistil, and so the flowers are pollinated. Many things happen without your help. Are there many flowers like these? Oh, yes, quite a few. They don't need you because they're pollinated by the wind and then they can make their seeds. Really? I think it's very kind of the wind to do that. Makes our work easier, doesn't it? We have quite a lot to do. That's right. Thank you for telling us about it. <laughs> you should rather thank Willie. Mm -hmm. Willie doubted whether there really were flowers that had no honey in them. I had to laugh at that and that's how he came to talk about it. I doubt it. Hieronymus doubts all the time. Maybe it's not such a bad thing. Oh, no. If you didn't doubt certain things, you'd never think about those things and you'd never get new ideas. It's very necessary to wonder sometimes. Hmm. I'll tell him. What's the matter, Maya? Where are you going? I'm going to find my friend Hieronymus. Well, who, who on earth is this here? I always thought that I'm your friend, Maya. Hieronymus is a centipede and he has rheumatism. Oh, what was that funny word? I must quickly go.
go and tell him that he's quite right to always wonder about things before he decides to do or say anything. Do you understand? No, I don't understand anything. Um, well, I suppose this is an or whatever his name is. It's just another funny old insect. Hey, Flip! Hey, you hear me? Willy. I heard what you said. I'm not deaf, you know. Well, if you heard what I said, you can give an answer, can't you? Oh. She's got a new friend. She said she's got a new friend. Oh, for goodness sake, Willie, don't tell me you're jealous of a rheumatic old centipede. That's ridiculous. I'll tell you what you should do. Go and find a beautiful flower with some honey, and the world will seem a much better place. Hmm. Honey would taste nice. It's hardly likely flower. flowers to come to you, Willie. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Ah, he's doing his daily exercise. I've already spotted you. You can come out into the open. Good morning, Hieronymus. How's the rheumatism today? Is it beginning to get better? Hmm. One and two and one and two and one It doesn't one seem to me to be getting two, any better. And I wish you'd stop chattering and leave me in peace. You don't really care how my rheumatism is today. I do have a good cure for rheumatism. Ah, if you can recommend a good cure, tell me about it. I don't believe you can, though. Why don't you? You can't fool me anymore. Every time you take the trouble to be nice to someone, you're sure to have a nasty trick up your sleeve, I know. How can you say something like that? I'm really worried about your rheumatism. As you're speaking to me, I can see your mouth watering. Am I right? Oh, no, you're wrong. It's perspiration you can see dripping down. I'm hot from rushing about this morning. And besides, you'd give me indigestion. What with 500 pairs of shoes on those feet? <laughs> well, goodbye, Hieronymus. What a pity. What a pity he didn't fall for it. Oh. Ah, she's gone. You can't trust that sneaky character. Though if only my feet weren't so sore so that I could run away if I came across something dangerous, my feet are going to be the death of me. Oh, well, one and two and one and two and one and Hieronymus. two. Oh. Who was that? Hieronymus! Hieronymus, it's me, it's Maya! Where are you, Hieronymus? Take cover! Oh. There's a bird! Oh. Oh. Help! Help! Oh. Help! Help! Oh! Oh, Hieronymus, you can run on all your feet! How wonderful! Help! 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 <laughs> Hieronymus? Hieronymus, can you hear me? Hello, Hieronymus? Each one of your feet moved. I saw them. Your two rheumatic feet ran along too. Did they really? Do you know what I think, Hieronymus? I think you're cured of rheumatism. Oh, oh. I wonder if the little bee was right. I'll try it. Oh, oh marvellous! My feet are all moving. They're running together again. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, 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 look out! The thrush is coming back now. Old feathers, you won't get me. Oh. Hieronymus, run faster! Just look. Just watch me run. I'm running on all my hundred feet. You were right after all. <laughs> <laughs> Everything's fine, Maya. <laughs> it's a good thing you told me, Maya. I might never have noticed it. <laughs> Be off with you. You're not going to get me. Let's try just once more to see if they're really all in working order, shall we? All right. <laughs> Look at that. 
Maya's playing on his feet just as she'd play a piano. <laughs> Isn't that funny, Willie? won't be quite as cheerful as this one. At any rate, not for me. Why? Because I get caught in a Venus flytrap. That's a plant with leaves that close on insects. I was just sitting there when a leaf slowly bent over me. I'm as strong as ten grasshoppers, but I couldn't do it alone. And my friends Maya and Willie created so much noise and uproar, but they couldn't help me either. <laughs> 